Hello, this is Paul Bo Perkins, and welcome back to EcoQuest. Let's play it. Uh, I don't want to go through the kelp maze again, Adam. Besides, I don't think Cetus would have gone toward the open ocean. Uh, where are we going? Oh, wait, maybe this is a spot. As a reminder of the disaster that created the Luria, a single soldier's helmet lies at the city's entrance. Oh, we need that. That... I thought the prophecy had something to do with the helmet. Maybe we need to go toward the helmet. Oh, what's that? Perhaps Adam should swim closer to the head first. Uh, yeah, okay. Fish. Fish means something. Oh, okay. Here we've zoomed in on this area. What's up, buddy? Well, let's, go, let's go ahead and recycle some of this stuff. Since we know that we'll have to do that. The game's really slow with this. I meant to cycle to the look screen, but it'll be alright. The sodden doll goes into the garbage bag, so that was a doll. Icky, is that what I think it is? No, don't worry, it's just a statue. Actually, it's what we call lawn art. The damselfish is startled by Adam's approach. She gives up looking at the, the other fish in the mirror and swims away. Squirrel! Well, the flamingo would say that if it could. <laughs> Adam puts the plastic flamingo in the garbage bag. Alright, what else we got? Oh my gosh. I don't know why this is so slow. We got another teddy bear. We had a teddy bear before, right? Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna go up to the top and... I promise I'm not having the same problem as Willie Beamish where the DOS box was cycling badly. Might have to restart it anyway. If it continues in this manner. Let's see, any other trash here? Yeah. Polka dot shorts are no longer in fashion, it seems. Okay. Recycle. The tasteless underwear goes into the garbage bag. Good job. Adam wins the recycling the recycle champ award. Alright. So let's get this mirror. It was probably important. Rearview mirror, okay. Hey, cool. There was a diver down here the other day using something like that to attract the fish. Nice to find somebody who wants to make friends rather than collect us. I'm a circle. I'm a circle. What's this glowing? Ooh, weird. Let me look at that. Blow me away! It's a flashlight fish. He's one of those nocturnal types, so I don't know what he's doing there. Nocturnal. Yeah, it comes out at night. Lives down deep during the day. I wonder why he didn't go home. Something must have happened. Can I talk to him? Talking to him won't help Adam. Only the creatures of Aluria have the power of speech. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's not all animals in this world have speech, it's just somehow the ruins of that Greek city. 
have magically started to have speech. What do we got here? We got special music. That's exciting. Alright. Nothing really looks like... Coral are really lots of small animals called polyps. Each generation builds on the skeletons of the last one. Little by little, they can form huge walls. That's staghorn coral. That looks like brain coral. That's what I would call it. That's brain. The brain coral has a name for the obvious reason. Yeah. All right. I've never found this one very intelligent, though. <laughs> You're so funny. Delphinius. Ghost Anemone. Whee! What's that one? I've heard of lettuce coral. I've heard lettuce coral. I've heard lettuce coral is low fat. <laughs> what else we got going on here? Redbeard sponge looks soft and well spongy. A cluster of anemones waves its tendrils. Unwary fish who swim through will be swallowed. There's a starfish. Sea stars can open a whole clam with their suction cups. Can we get that one? Sea stars can grow new arms. Still, it doesn't do to pry one up. Alright, let's move along. I don't think there's anything else here. piece of wire can be seen at the mouth of the dark opening. I'm, closer, I'm looking closer. Adam sees that it's really part of a long cable. Can we get that? Oop. A creeping tentacle firmly grabs Adam's wrist. Hey, let go of me! Yeah, oh, it's an octopus. We've disturbed his lair. They're... These depresso loner dudes, they like to live by themselves, really antisocial. They'll defend their territory against anyone, especially another octopus. Octopus fighting is not a pretty sight. After uh, all those tentacles, you know. I have to admit, he's got a strong grip. Ooh. What did I tell you? Octopi are really hung up. I doubt I'll touch it while you're watching. Better hide. Okay, let's hide behind here. Can we hide? And this? Hey, you're no amateur. Breaking the core will kill it, you know? Hey, I'm just trying to hide, dude. Hiding. Help. Oh. There we go. Man, it's like, oh man, I'm like inside of it. It's like pulling teeth sometimes, and the, do the right thing that this, uh, these adventure games want you to do. Adam burrows in the soft sponges. From this comfortable hiding spot, he peers out at the octopus.
the octopus thinks he's alone now. He sneaks a tentacle out and grabs hold of the jar. That's pretty fun. Like, he thoroughly explores the jar. Look at that. He untwists with that lid. It kind of like the cane opener of the sea. Ha ha ha. Boy, this guy's worse than Cedric from King's Quest V. Oh, a poisonous snake! Okay, let's get that jar. We need it. Probably. Okay. Now, let's... Let's get him to fight himself. And I think someone... I hear somebody calling. It seems to be coming somewhere above us. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll get that to that in a second. I want to have this octopus fight himself. The octopus peers into the mirror. Red with rage, he charges out to fight the other octopus. Oops, the octopus sees Adam. A human, white with fear, he shoots a cloud of ink and flees. Oh, see ya. We want that cable. I have a feeling that we would have just have to come back for this cable to help that person, so... Actually, like an octopi, the ink's supposed to be like a fake octopus to throw you off the track. Give me that cable. Adam reaches down and pulls out the cable. A gleaming wire. I'm beginning to get an idea of what the oracle meant. Yeah, so that's part of what... I forgot that part of the prophecy, but that's something. Alright, so... Maybe we could help... Is it over here? Ooh, we've got... We're like on a reef or something. toilet tank is on its side. The lid is jammed over the tank at one corner. The lid of the toilet tank is jammed in place. Well... It's pried open. Adam places a trident under one corner of the tank and yanks. The lid pops off and falls to the sand. What do we got in here? The toilet has a broken valve, however the round rubber float is in good condition. Alright. Let's get that float. Adam pulls out the toilet float from inside the tank. What's this round thing? Oh, I know, it's called a float. Round. Hmm, let's see what does that remind me of. It's a prophecy again, a floating orb. Not what I expected at all. Even the oracle has a sense of humor, I suppose. Right. Well, let's just go ahead and call this a video. Got an orb in my hand. Um, and next time, we will maybe uh, keep following this prophecy. Uh, probably read the prophecy at the beginning of the next episode, if you want to hear it again. Uh, until next time, I'm Paul Bo Brookins. Go ahead and like the video and subscribe. It really helps me out. And we will see you then.